Hi guys, uh, it's that time of week again, Monday, um, and man, as it's hot here at the moment, uh, we have a Kalima, so this is where the uh, wind turns to a southerly, southerly direction and blows direct across the, the Sahara, the southern Sahara, uh, straight onto us. So it's hot, and it's kind of like hazy because there's so much dust in the air, and uh, you can't escape from it. It's, it's not like you can go in the shade because it's the air that's hot. The air itself is like 35 degrees centigrade or something like that. So you just can't get away with it. So, so you get away from it, you know. You, you either have to go in the sea or, uh, in this case, I'm going to the workshop because it's air conditioned. <laughs> so I'm sitting here with the aircon on. And it's still, it's still warm. Oh, I don't know. I've, I've had the aircon on all day it's now quarter to five and the quarter to five in the afternoon aircon's been on all day you can see it's still just about 30 centigrade in the workshop here yeah that's with the aircon going outside it's ridiculous but anyway one of the joys of living down here eh, man? one of the lives you know move to a subtropical island and that's what you're gonna get so anyway car boots i've waffled enough car boots um went on sunday it was hot bit like half past eight in the morning it was bloody hot uh and there was like quite a bit of stuff there but not really <laughs> anything very interesting uh, i saw like about six i think it was at least one two three yeah six computers maybe seven but they were all uh, dell or hp or compact uh, median and they're just not exciting uh but i did manage to find something so uh it's behind the box because it's too big for the box again this week um I picked this one up yesterday. Um, Cooler Master uh, case, a little bit corroded down here. I've got a use for this case because uh, I'm putting together like another uh, Windows XP type 98 type retro rig, and I'll use this case. I'll get this front piece off and I'll spray it. Yeah, and it'll look nice. I'm sure the, re the rest of it's in good nick. Uh, there's not a lot in it, unfortunately. Um, there's a, there's a motherboard. Asus motherboard in there, uh, but that's all there is. Um, guy uh, wanted 20 euros, and uh, I wanted to pay him 10. And as the way this always works out, you haggle, don't you? And you settle in the middle. So it was 15 euros, uh, considering the uh, you know the, the nice condition of all this, and the fact I wanted the case. I don't think that's a bad deal. Uh, it's another uh, Asus H61G. Uh, Sorry, H61MG. Uh, let's uh, go over to the overhead camera. Let's have a quick look. Okay, there we go. So it's another Asus uh, H61M-G. Uh, uh, this is identical identical to one I had last week. Um, quite corroded around here, but this is this airborne, uh, kind of like salty moisture air we sort of get, not surprised. Uh, don't see any bent pins in the CPU socket. And th there's an optical drive in here, but nothing else. Uh, case is in good nick, though. Uh, no power supply, just a motherboard. Uh, and a case which I quite fancy the use of myself. Oh, it's got, well, it's got a little uh, USB card reader thing. So I think the best thing with this straight away is let's uh, let's get this out of here. Yeah, this motherboard. And let's see uh, what sort of condition this one's in. Okay, so this is the motherboard. I mean, first thing we can say about this, it's filthy, yeah? Absolutely filthy. This is the uh, first one. <laughs> There's capacitors under this. What? Yeah. <laughs> There's capacitors under all that heap of dust. Uh, we had one of these motherboards. I can't remember if it was last week or the week before. I think it was last week. Um, no CMOS battery. Um, and it's a uh, Intel i something or other second generation. Uh, would fit on this one. Uh, the last one I had had a Celeron, what was it, Celeron 1610G, yeah, it was that one. Uh, anyway, that's cleaning the most of the dirt out of it, so uh, usual quick checks with this one. Uh, first off is, uh, let me move my camera a little bit. Yeah, there we go, it's a bit better. Um, yeah, so, um, first one we'll check, we'll check for shorts on the 12, and then, um, if that's okay, we'll find a suitable CPU and just stick it in here and see if it beeps, yeah, without any RAM. Okay, so uh, ground, uh, usual thing. Continuity mode, 12 volts. There's no CPU, so I should, shouldn't see anything. Yeah, so this, 
this is the ground side yeah and the other ones yeah it's high resistance that's that's fine so there's no shorts on 12 volt this socket although it looks a bit dirty it doesn't look too bad i'll just get under the microscope there might be a bit of like grubby dirtiness i don't want to rub a brush over it let's have a quick look at that let's see if that's okay okay i got the microscope uh, camera working so um let's have a look at this and just uh, see it looks a bit grubby in here i don't think there's any bent pins I just uh, a bit concerned how much dirt there might be inside it. Okay, let's let's uh, have a look. So you can see there's a lot of like ingrains of this dirt on here. Yeah, it was this down here that I was looking at. Let's have just brush it in the direction of the pins. Yeah, it's just a bit of dust, and I'm just I'm just gently going in the direction of the pins. Yeah, and that seems to be better now uh, I was this side looking again pretty good yeah this side looks better okay just gently again in the direction of pins yeah okay so that's got uh, most of the dirt out of that let's go find uh, a CPU and see if it actually does anything this board okay moment here I am. <laughs> Camera froze, that's why I look like I've got an empty chair to gonna talk to you then. Okay, yeah, so I've got a uh, Intel i3-2120. Uh, that's suitable for testing these second gen boards. Again, it's probably like the, one of the cheapest processors you can find that actually works in these. So it's ideal for a test CPU. So uh, we can whack that in there. Um, a little bit of uh, heatsink uh, compound. The pigeon shit, as we always used to call it in the 80s, anyway. Bit of pigeon shit on the uh, CPU there. Yeah. Um, well, I've got my uh, ATX power supply, that's plugged in. Just need the uh, heat sink. Uh, one we just balance on top of it, yeah. For now, just see if it works. Uh, turn it around, actually, because I don't play with this. Again, the, the legs on this are too short to actually touch the board, so it's ideal for just hanging on there just to see no ram uh, we just want to see if it will bleep basically and uh, yeah let's get some uh, power switch and the uh, is there a speaker yeah speaker must be that one okay so we, we're ready to go basically um, plug the power into the ATX okay powers on ready to go um, Let's see what happens, shall we? It powers. But it doesn't bleep. Ah, oh, powered again. Let's just put a, a CMOS battery in this. In fact, I'll get a, one that's uh, well charged. I'm sure that one isn't quite uh, good. One moment. Okay, uh, from Ikea by the way, uh, about the cheapest place you get like a pack of eight and I think they're like about a euro, <laughs> it's just like 25 cents each, the cheapest place I've seen them, so whenever I'm down Ikea, I just buy, you know, half of the, well not half of them, but three or four packets to keep me going, uh, okay, that's the uh, that screw line around, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's see if it wants to do anything more than that, eh, power on, not a bleep, not a nothing. Tries to power again. No bleep, no nothing. Um, let's stick some RAM in and uh, connect the monitor. Let's see if it actually does anything. I don't think it will, but let's, let's give it a go. Okay, so here's a couple of strips of uh, 1 gig uh, PC3 8500. I'm not sure what sort of RAM this would want, but I know it's uh, basically DDR3. Uh, I think we'll put one strip in first, just in channel 1. Let's see if it wants to boot on a single channel. Uh, other thing we're going to need, obviously, is the uh, connection from the monitor. Stuff that to the back of it. Okay. 
Power on, let's go, let's boot it. Power's up. Then it kind of like does it again. Oh, does it twice, so it doesn't like repeatedly do it. Yeah, nothing on the screen, it's no, no signal coming out of it. Okay, we've got uh, something interesting then. Uh, so, um, this will be, we'll have a video with this one. Um, interesting bit of car booty. To be honest, if it doesn't work, I mean, I'll probably salvage a few bits off if I can't fix it. And uh, I think that uh, that uh, cooler master case is probably worth what I paid for this anyway, because I've got a use for that. Um, okay then, guys, so uh, that's our bit of car booty this week. Um, I'd just be interested to see if the CPU is getting warm. Just to see if I've actually got any V cool. That that'll be interesting. Mm, I'll have to wipe this bit of uh, gunk off it to to have a look. Have I got some kitchen roll. Not a lot. <laughs> Running out of a lot of stuff this week. Yeah, I have to get some more. I don't want to stick my finger in the middle. It's like messy stuff. This so not nice. Let's just find something to wipe that off with. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any warmth in that. I mean, obviously I've had a heat sink sitting on it. Uh, it might be worth just uh, very briefly trying not to burn my finger, yeah? No, that time it didn't. Yeah, there's a bit of warmth coming on the CPU, so I suspect it's got some sort of supply to it. Okay, uh, that's another video then, so uh, see you soon with the repair on this one. Uh, hope you enjoyed a little bit of car booty this week, and I hope I can find some more interesting stuff next week. Okay guys, see you very soon. Ciao now.